We need to have a talk. So you really don't need this to be special. Yeah, is it the clothing? Is it the jewelry? Yes, that can make us feel special on the outside, but really it has to come from within. And this is all cover. It's really what's inside that counts. So how do you honor your inner goddess? Well, you know, that's a very good question. Sing up pretty makeup, beautiful jewels, fine dresses. Is that it? I thought to myself, no, there's a deeper meaning to this. And what's that deeper meaning? I'm driving on the highway. I got lots of time on my hands. That's when my mind thinks the most. And I thought, what really helps me honor my inner goddess is to be true to myself and to not let anybody try to change me. As a teenager, that people judged me by the way I looked. I was misunderstood by many people. They laughed at me. <laughs> Seriously, Natalia, it ain't that funny. But they just didn't understand, you know, what was she? Was she a punk rocker? Was she a, was she a poodle? Was she an acid queen? They, they told my mother, don't worry, Mrs. Farkas, it's a phase. Well, little did she know it was a phase I'd never grow out of. We all wear so many faces in life, and I guess I'm here to tell you, don't do it. Don't do it. And in my adult years, again, I had people around me who didn't want me to act silly or be my true self. In my professional world, where I believed that I had to act sophisticated and it didn't feel right to me. So my advice to you is just be yourself no matter what it is you're doing because if you're trying to be someone you're not, you're going to feel uncomfortable. And you know what? Other people are going to see through it too. So honor your inner goddess and be true to who you really are. Natalia thinks so too, right? <laughs> Give me another. <laughs> okay, time to talk about a serious subject. Verbal and mental abuse. That's just another form of trying to change you. Whether it's your frenemy or a partner in life. It could also be a co-worker or a boss. They're just trying to make you weak and insecure because you know what? The issue is theirs and they don't want anybody else to feel better than them. Please don't let them reduce you to this. No, please, no, please. Don't grovel. So I'm telling you here today and now, Whatever it is, speak your truth, speak it with love. Love, 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 because that's what makes the world go round. And ask the universe, God, the angels, whoever you pray to, the archangels, ask them to keep this person away from you physically, mentally, and spiritually when they start bullying you or acting up and trying to change you. You'll see amazing results. It's not going to penetrate your physical being and your mental being. You'll see the situation slowly start to dissipate on its own without you saying a word. Meow! In honor of Kit Kat! Eventually, they'll get the message. And if they don't, get rid of the ball and chain. Get rid of the ball and chain. Well, I honor my inner goddess by getting rid of this goddamn ball and chain. There it goes. <laughs> so honor your inner goddess. Be true to yourself. Be true to who you really are. And please, don't let anybody change you.